Hey everyone, welcome back to another reading vlog. So today is Monday, and my last reading vlog, I was so productive, and I feel like I have kind of the same energy going, and I have so much want to read. So during my last reading vlog, I was currently reading Red, White, and Royal Blue, and I ended up finishing it just like yesterday, and I absolutely loved it. It was so good. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. I just... I love the relationships, I love the banter, I love the sarcasm, I just, I loved everything about it. I'm such a sucker for adult contemporary adult romance because I feel like, especially new adult, I feel like there's a little bit less drama. But of, so of course there's going to be drama in the book because obviously you need conflict. But when I read young adult contemporary or young adult like romance, I feel like there's a lot of drama centered around the relationship where characters or, are going to break up and then get back together and then break up and be apart for a whole book and then get back together. You see a lot of books like that especially series. So what I like about adult romance or from what I've read of adult romance, especially like Nora Roberts because she's the main adult romance author that I read, she puts more conflict around I guess the environment, things that the uh, main character is struggling with, not and um, sometimes that can affect the relationship or the love interest that's happening, but it's not just about the relationship. Characters aren't just breaking up for drama and then getting back together and breaking up and getting back together. So I'm really loving this like new adult genre or new adult um, age category where the main characters are in their early to mid 20s. I think that's fantastic because we don't see a lot of that. Either our characters are 16 to 18 or they're 30. And so it's nice to see more characters in their 20s, especially since, I mean, I'm in my 20s, so I feel like I can really, really relate to books like new adult books or books set in this age group and that's what red white and blue is set in the main character is 21 and then he turns 22 and the other main character is 23 i believe and it's just it's so great one's in college one's already graduated college anyways i really 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 adored this book and i kind of want to restart it would that be crazy or i think i want to read rising tides and inner harbor for some reason i don't own those two, I need to fix that and go get Rising Tide in Inner Harbor, but I was able to get the book from my public library, so I'm going to go ahead and maybe start reading that, and then I think I may pick back up Red, White, and Royal Blue. That is pretty much it for this update and I will um, update you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so I thought I would do another reading update. So reading has gone so well for me these last couple of days. Today is Wednesday. I believe I did my last update on Monday, I wanna say. So today is Wednesday, it is later on in the night, and I do have some progress to show you. So I had decided to pick up the second and the third book in the Chesapeake Bay Saga, which is Rising Tides and Inner Harbor, and I read both of the books um, in the last couple of days. So yeah, when I did, I did my update, I wanna say like maybe Monday morning or something like that, and we are Wednesday after or Wednesday evening. So I read both Rising Tide and Inner Harbor in basically two days. I absolutely love them. I gave each of them a five out of five stars. I will say Rising Tides is more focused on Ethan and the relationship with Grace versus like Seth, whereas Inner Harbor we really, really get 
a lot of um, Seth's background and like the mystery behind him and how he's related to Ray Quinn and it's just it's so fantastic and it's so good so now I am between two books that I kind of want to read I really really want to reread Red White and Royal Blue I think that's what I might do tonight and then for some reason, I saw this book on my bookshelf. I realized I haven't finished it, and you know what? I think I really want to, and that is Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie. I don't know why, I just got drawn to it all of a sudden. I read this for Dewey's Readathon, gosh, I wanna say October of last year. It's been a while since I've picked up this book. It's been a long time. I remember thinking that there wasn't a lot of substance to it, but you know, I'm kind of in that mood, like right now, I'm feeling books that like I'm okay if there's not like huge world development. Also my nail polish matches the cover, although this is more of a red. Well no, I think that's a pretty spot on shade. Look at that, I love that. I'm going to reread Red, White, and Blue today or tonight. I'm not gonna be able to read all of it tonight, but definitely get a huge chunk of it because it's gonna be a reread, so it's gonna be really quick. And then pick up uh, Ace of Shades. So that's pretty much it for my update right now and I will update you guys later. Hey guys, so time for another reading update. Honestly, I don't even remember when I last did my update, but today is Monday, so I'm starting week two. This is like the last week in June, so um, I'm doing more like bi-weekly reading vlogs back again. But anyways, so we're starting week two and I have finished my second reread of Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. So good, I just wanna reread it again. Oh my God, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with this book, but I am, it is so fantastic. So I am doing really well with my Goodreads challenge because of, honestly, I'm just killing it this month. I've reread Sea Swept, Rising Tide, Inner Harbor, um, what, Chesapeake Blue, I, re I read Red, Rat, and Ro Royal Blue twice, so I'm just, it's amazing. Two other books that I am kind of um, are on my radar. The first one is Still Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie. I do want to finish this one. I just filmed my mid-year book freakout tag and I kind of want to read the books that I am halfway through on my bookshelf. So I have so many books that I have read halfway through of and I just put it down. So I think it's time to just like finish them and Ace of Shades is kind of like my number one that I want to finish. The next book that I am kind of rereading, skimming really quickly is Again But Better by Christine Riccio. I have the ebook of it and I read this book at the beginning of May and it is our Muggle Studies book club pick for June and our live show is actually going to be this Saturday, June 29th. It's been like two months since I've read it, so well, no, a month and a half. Yeah. It's been a month and a half since I've read it. So I, I'm just gonna go back over and kind of start re-skimming it. I've already started today and I am now on chapter five. This book reads so quickly and it's weird. I don't know what page I'm on. It's telling me I'm on location 485, but I'm definitely not on page 485, but it's telling me I'm 8% done. So I should be able to finish this really quickly. Like I said, I'm not like completely rereading it. I'm just kind of re-skimming it. I think it'll be a really good refresher um, so that I have things to talk about for my live show on Saturday. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this update and I will update you guys later. Oh, what? What? Eight ounces. That's a bullshit cup of coffee. Hey guys, so today is June 29th. It is about 9.30 in the evening. We just finished doing our live show for Again But Better by Christine Riccio. And it was a really good live show. I think we had some great discussions. I will go ahead and leave that link down below. So I just finished filming my... June wrap up and July TBR and I mentioned in my TBR that I 
really need to read Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo, and I think I'm going to listen to that one on audiobook. This is our Muggle Studies book club pick for July. I am hesitant about starting this one just because I've heard some people say that it's boring and they didn't like it, but then I've also heard people say that they really enjoyed it, and I thought that it was a dystopian, but it turns out I think it's a fantasy, and I'm really, really happy about that because if it's a dystopian, I was dreading, dreading it because I'm just so over dystopian books. And then also I think for the remainder of the night, I want to pick up Northern Lights by Nora Roberts. So I know that I was thinking of picking up Ace of Shades last time I made my update, but I read like the first two pages and I think it's been too long since I've read it, to be honest. I may have to just start from the beginning. And I'm already halfway through, but I'm just like rereading it. I'm just, I'm reading it and I tried to reread the chapter that I was on and I'm just, I'm really, really confused. I'm for, I've forgotten like the plot. I've forgotten the characters. So this one may just be a complete reread for me. So I decided that I don't want to do that, but I do want to keep on reading books on my shelf that are halfway read, and Northern Lights is one of them, which is weird because I usually always finish Nora Roberts, but I do want to finish this one. I am roughly 200 pages through. This is a 550 plus page book. I think it's like 562 to be exact. So I've got a lot of reading to do on this one, but I'm kind of in that adult romance mood still. I adore Nora Roberts. I usually fly through her books. So I think it would be a lot of um, fun and I think I definitely is going to keep my mood up for reading if I pick up Northern Lights again. And then I will update you guys probably tomorrow since it's Sunday and I am just planning on giving myself a weekend to read. <laughs> So this is going to be my last clip of this week's reading vlog or bi-weekly reading vlog. Today is Sunday. It is June 30th, so it's kind of the perfect time to finish this reading vlog because I want to start a new reading vlog for July. I've just made myself some blueberry tea and I thought I would settle down with some Nora Roberts for tonight. I have read a little bit of Nora Roberts so far since I last updated you. Not very much though. I think I only read like roughly 50 or so pages. I want to get a good chunk of reading done tonight. I may or may not start a new audiobook. So as I've mentioned, Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo is our Muggle Studies book club pick for July. So I do have it on audiobook, or Hannah actually has it on audiobook, and she is letting me listen to it. And it's actually a really short audiobook. It's only 9 hours and 21 minutes, which is fantastic. And I typically listen to my audiobooks pretty quickly. I like to listen to them between 1.5 to 2 times speed, just depending on qu how quickly it reads. But a lot of times I'm able to listen at two times speed. So that is a really short audiobook. That means I can pretty much finish this audiobook in like two days worth of commutes. Well, no, maybe like four days worth of commutes. But still, like, I could pretty much listen to it in one week of, like, driving to and from work, pretty much. And, like, just going to and from work. So I think that'll be really nice. Hopefully I enjoy it and I can get back into the mood to listen to audiobooks because recently I just have not been wanting to listen to any audiobooks at all. I've just been 
kind of listening to music and yeah so I just I haven't been in the mood to listen to audiobooks recently but I am still in the mood to be reading like physical books I also need to edit this reading vlog and upload it in the next couple of days and start my next reading vlog I finally have gotten out of like filming slump I was kind of in a filming slump. I think in the month of like June, I only uploaded three or four videos, maybe, which is not a lot. I'm used to uploading between like six and seven videos a month. I usually upload one to twice a week, like roughly every four to five days I upload. And June really fell for me with video uploads. I just, I haven't had any inspiration to film anything and yeah I've just kind of been I don't know in a filming slump I think I've got some ideas that I want to film for July not to mention the Newt's readathon announcement video was posted today and I'm so excited to go through that and see what challenges I need to do for to become a Hogwarts professor I am kind of glad that I didn't double major because these challenges are um, quite intense and the fact that some careers you have to read I think it's like a minimum of six books for the easiest career up to like 19 books for Alchemist which is the hardest career to achieve so I'm like I'm really glad I didn't double major because there's no way that I am going to be able to read that many books in one month especially since some of the books are like read a book more than 500 pages or like read a book with 350 so yeah I need to go through and see what my challenges are but I think I'm gonna leave that for my July reading vlog and then I plan on doing like a whole uh, Newt's TBR and I think it'll be fun to like uh, obviously I'm gonna have my Newt's reading vlogs in August so a lot of fun videos that I am excited and I just want to get more creative again so the plan for the rest of the night is just to kind of sit here relax drink my tea read some Nora Roberts I brewed my blueberry celestial tea it is so good if you like blueberry tea but you don't want it too sweet but you actually like the blueberry flavor I highly highly recommend trying the tea celestial brand because it's really good it has that really strong blueberry flavor but it's not overly sweet and it's so so good I absolutely love it well I think this is my cue to like stop filming because the Sun is starting to set and it is creating a glare in the window so yeah I'm gonna sit here have my tea read some Nora Roberts and that is gonna be pretty much it for this reading vlog I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next time in another video bye